Trump's inauguration is in exactly 40 days. That's plenty of time to get into that hot tub shape, Ambassador. <laughs> So, what will a Trump inauguration be like? Will everything be plated in gold? Will there be extravagant food like cocktail weenies and lots of balloons and great music by country singers we forgot about years ago? We have a preview of the festivities. They don't know it yet. Looks like a blast. Anyway, protesters might have a hard time finding a place to boo-hoo. A National Park Service spokesman said agency rules in place since 2008 give an inaugural committee preferential access to some public areas along Pennsylvania Avenue, the National Mall, and surrounding land. But civil rights lawyers say the denial of protest permits is unconstitutional and they're threatening legal action. Funny how they weren't threatening that back in 2008. Ugh. Yeah, am I right? And speaking of President Barack Obama, he had quite the star-studded event with appearances from Stevie Wonder and somebody named Yo-Yo Ma, <laughs> which makes one wonder who should be the entertainment at President Trump's inaugural speech when the real entertainment is Donald Trump himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. I have some suggestions. Poetry reading by Willie Robertson. Would that be nice? <laughs> yeah. Dunk booth with Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> And a gangster rap performance by nasty Newt Gingrich. <laughs> uh, got what you're wearing, Tyrus. Yeah, I know. What's with the chain? The chain. You're bringing the chain I've back. I've been here a week. Martha's rocking gold. Yes. And you got to be a gangster to have a chain. Yeah, you do. That's how it works around here. I guess you made it. All right, All right Ambassador. I'm not a big. I don't know why there has to be entertainment. Why? Why? But, but there's going to be plenty of entertainment at this inauguration. Imagine a whole hour or more of Barack Obama squirming during the inaugural address. <laughs> That's well, true. What else do you need? Uh, that is true. And uh, you live in D.C. Uh, what's your exact address again? <laughs> uh, no, um, I kid. I, I can kid. walk to the National Mall. Oh, really? Yes. Interesting. And so I will tell you, I know you're going to ask me about the protesters. How did you know? Well, we, we've talked about this before. <laughs> Forget the principle. Mm -hmm. Think about it practically. I've been to the last couple of inaugurations. Mm -hmm. You can't get anywhere near the Capitol, so forget it. I know the protesters are very upset about this. They can get as close as they want mm -hmm. and get up close to the barricades, but, you know, it's not going to matter. Yeah, they're not going to see matter. you. The protest is for, by the way, I mean, you know, a great protest would be a counter inauguration. You know, have all the familiar faces. You have like Sarah Silverman and Lena Dunham and Green Day, <laughs> Green Day, which is a poor man's monkeys. And that, by the way, the monkeys are great. Green Day is not great. That's hence the poor man's. Oh. Uh, I don't know if anybody follows that. Cat, <laughs> uh, uh, that's your name. Yes. Um, it has been said by many in the media that they're not landing any A-list musical talent like Madonna or Cher. Although A, I hear, stands for uh, What? What should the inaugural committee do if they're going like, oh, look, all we have is, uh, you know, I don't know, name somebody that we often see on Fox and Friends in the morning. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Because that's the name of the band. Yeah. <laughs> They're an the emo band. The people who are already excited about Trump are going to be way excited about Trump. And like you were saying, it's going to be entertaining no matter what. And the people who are not are already going to be very mad. Mm -hmm. in the streets or whatever they're doing, yelling and screaming, and it's not that the happy winners won't care about the people screaming, it's that they will care, it'll just make them happier. Right. I don't know if they realize <laughs> that's how that works. Yeah. No, we'll, it, we'll definitely enjoy it. Tyrus, uh, how, what would you like to see? Uh, maybe a wrestling event. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. You know, you could, you could bring Matt and Rachel Madden in, dress up as Mrs. Liberal. Um, maybe some pit fighting. Yeah, something cool. Uh, what's funny to me is that when you were talking in the beginning, the protesters are now protesting mm -hmm. the form. Yeah. They're going to protest the park yes. because the other group had their paperwork in a year ahead of time. Yes, exactly. So you're protesting the protest. Yeah. The great thing about uh, activists is they often don't keep up on the paperwork. 
Yeah. You know, they're not, they're, they, they don't have the organizational skills. They don't have the, you know, they don't have like neat little piles of paper. They're usually, you know, living in a van. They should put the protesters in a cage as the entertainment and like <laughs> give little crackers you can feed them. Oh. <laughs> don't applaud that. That's actually good. Oh, wait a minute. Secretary of State Deathmatch. You bring in the five, <laughs> throw them a bat with some nails in it, no hitting in the face. That's the only rule. Go to town. That's amazing. That would, incre that would be incredible. Can he be on my side? <laughs> yeah. well, I'll, take the, I'll take the deputy deal. Cool. <laughs> See? You, you just broke some news. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He said, can you be on my side? Which means... See? And all that training... Only for you. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I think they should get David Copperfield and have him it, like make like the monuments disappear. Wouldn't that be nice? Britney's making a comeback. They need some musical talent. She's a registered Republican, so why not? Who'd you say? Britney Spears making no. a comeback. Okay. No. He wants to bring back a dinosaur. Let's stop. Oh, we, nobody just... watches the inaugural. Like, hey, who's playing? Yeah. <laughs> President of the United States. That is true. So that is true. Let's have some speeches, maybe a rally. Let him yeah. do his thing. Yeah. You know? We don't need any, we don't need to hear, like, unless, like, ACDC is going to come back or something cool like that. But yeah. You can get Save Kid the entertainment. Rock. We're going to take care of business. Yeah, gonna, Kid Rock, that would be yeah, fun. Kid Rock, yeah, that cool. would be yeah. 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 All right. On that note, we must move on. Coming up, a story so magnetic, they'll have to pry your eyeballs from the TV. It's disgusting. But first, our commander-in-chief surprised by the rise of ISIS. How could he have missed that? Guess it wasn't on NPR.